Good morning, we're the Lees. We're very happy to be helping out with the Sunday School lessons. This is our family. This is, you wanna introduce yourselves, kids? My name is Rosemary. My name is Benjamin Lee. And Jessica. And Richard. And so we're going to just go ahead and start with the Bible lesson today. It's a few different um, combinations of verses, so we'll read through one at a time and kind of talk through it, okay guys? Okay. Okay. So, we're starting with Genesis 12, one through five. Now the Lord said to Abram, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make you of you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took his wife Sarah and his brother's son Lot and all the possessions they had gathered and the persons whom they had acquired in Haran and set forth to go to the land of Canaan. So do you remember yesterday when we did our camel activity? Uh -huh. Remember how we talked about there was a time where God asked Abraham to do something even though he didn't really know why and he had to leave his home and leave most of his family and pack up his camel what did you guys put on your camel i put a i wait i can't remember i need to find it well you can think while rosemary answers it's over there what did you put on your camel rosemary i okay. put the cornbread and the unicorn mm -hmm. wait i forgot I remember I got the, I bring the, the butterfly clothes. because the butterfly is our pet and is the pet if we went away. Yeah. And, um, and the hat and, yeah. and the hat is for which my and me. That's nice. Let me ask you a question then. And, um, Hey Ben, let me ask you a question buddy. So we talked about how it would make you sad if you had to leave your family and all your friends and all your stuff behind, right? But how do you think that Abraham and his family had the courage to do that? Do you think it was brave of them to listen to God and follow his directions? Do you think that that was brave of them? Yeah. Yeah? Um, so how do you think they had that bravery? What do you think gave them that bravery in their heart? I don't know. What do you think, Rex? That they, the God, God told them to move and they have to. Why do you think they listened to God? Because he's the good man. He's the good man, right. And he, and you know that God wants what's best for you and loves you. But sometimes when God asks us to do something, even if we don't understand exactly why, it's okay to trust God, right? That was very good. Okay, I'm gonna move us on to the next part of the lesson, which is Genesis 15, one through six. So after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram, I am your shield and your reward shall be very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless and the heir of my house is Elizar of Damascus. And Abram said, you have given me no offspring, that means children, and so a slave born in my house is to be my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him, this man shall not be your heir, no one but your very own issue shall be your heir. He brought him outside and said, this is an important part, look toward the heaven and count the stars if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, so shall your descendants be. So, how many stars do you think are in the sky? 150. 150? How many do you think? I think maybe 7. Okay. You think just 7, seven. stars? That's it? What about, remember when we made these star sheets? Yeah, let me count them. That's a lot of stars there, right? Let me count them. Yeah? One, two, three, four, 
Tell you what, why don't you count silently? Count silently in your heads and let me let me say a few things. So Abraham didn't have any kids, but God basically said, Trust me, I'm gonna give you so many kids that you won't even be able to count how many kids you have because it's gonna be like how many stars are in the sky. Right? Now this was another time. So do you know how old Abraham was? He was 75. That's older than mommy and daddy. You know? It's older than grandpa and Gigi. So do you think maybe they thought, well, that's weird. How are we gonna have so many kids when we're so old? Right? I don't know. I don't know. But you know what they did do? They Did they trust God that what he said would come true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's another time where God spoke to Abraham and Abraham had to say, you know what, God, I trust you. The rest of the lesson, it gets a little bit long, but the next story I'll summarize. So basically, three visitors came to visit Abraham. And do you remember how I said Abraham was already pretty old and so was his wife, but yet God told them they were going to have so many kids? Well, do you know that some strangers came to visit and they were feeding them? And the strangers told his wife, you're gonna have a son. And she was like, she said, what? I don't think so, you guys are crazy. And she actually laughed at them. But do you know what happened? She had a son. Because who told, who told her that she was gonna have a son? God. Uh -huh. God. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes when we talk about promises, God had made Abraham and Sarah a promise. He actually called it a covenant. Do you know what a covenant means? <laughs> A covenant is a binding agreement. It's like a promise when we make promises, right? When I say, well, when we make promises to each other. So God will sometimes make promises and he will always keep them, even if we don't understand how that happens, right? Do you guys have any questions about promises? Yep. What's your question? Well, um... Sometimes you promise us that you can give us a cookie. <laughs> Sometimes I do, and if I promise, then I need to keep it. I think that's going to be all for our lesson today. Um, can you guys tell everybody bye and say we hope bye. to see you soon? Bye. We, we seem to miss you too. We miss you miss too, you. and we hope to see you soon. Anything else you want to tell us about your camel? Yes, because I, I have the guitar when when it's rainy when because some because um because it rains sometimes and sometimes we like to play the guitar Good. when you like to do it and we like to do music and we and we found this butterfly. Okay, great. Let me and see we that. had the bicycle. Because if we wanted to ride somewhere on the bicycles instead of the camels. Great. Good job. I think that's a good packed camel. Rosemary, what did you pack on your camel? I have a unicorn because it's my pet. And I have a camel. And, mm -hmm. and I have cornbreads just in case we don't have it. Who's that? That was just an extra piece. What do you have up there? And we have... Clothes just in case we don't have any clothes. Yeah. How do you think you would feel? What if God told us that we had to leave our house and pack a bag and go far, far away? How would that make you feel? Sad. Sad? But but don't you think sometimes that maybe God knows things we don't know that we don't know and maybe he has a reason for that instruction? Because maybe... There's a flood. That's right. He could be protecting us from something that's coming that we don't even know about. That's one thing. What would be another? Yeah, or like a dust storm. 
or a dust like, storm. Yeah, like where dust covers all the things, and you can't see it. Mm -hmm, and true. You can't see your way around. It's kind of hard to trust somebody, right? When you don't really know why they're asking you to do something, but that's what God was asking them to do. He was saying, I want you to trust me because I have a plan for you, right? So even if we're scared, we know that we can have trust in God, right? Yeah, what do you yeah. think of that, Rose? Are you promise that we are your people and that we will always belong to you. Stay with us this week and we pray and fill us with your spirit that we may know that you are with us always and help us to love you and to love our family, friends, and neighbors as you love us. We ask all this in Jesus' name, name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rosemary.